Hey everybody, Slim by Faith here. I'm back from my fast. My fast lasted 12 days. Um, I ended up having to break it because of some issues that I have to attend to. And they actually caused me to have to um, uh, work out. And it's a pretty strenuous workout. About... I'll say three to five hours worth of, um, three to five hours, three to five miles worth of walking every day. And so because of that, um, I found out the hard way because I did two days um, of that walking um, while I was still on the fast. And I found out that you cannot do strenuous exercising while you're on a fast. It really, really hurts. I remember when I first began and I did some insanity the first day, but you still have your energy from the nutrients and um, I should say the carbs that you've been putting in your body before you began fasting. But at this point, I had nothing and so I had no energy. Um, so what I learned is that when you are on a fast that you cannot be exercising at all. It's best if you can be sedentary while you're on a fast, meaning just to make your food, um, not food, but your drink, your water. Um, if you're, um, uh, what else? If you have to make food for your family um, and you can do that, that's fine. But if not, you need to have your husband, um, your older kid, somebody do that. Um, and, you know, using, using the restroom, bathing yourself. But you should try your best to not have much to do if you're going to go on an extended fast like the one that I did. If you're going to do one to three day, days, you can probably do it on a job. I have. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I learned about um, uh, exercising and trying to fast at the same time. Especially trying to do strenuous exercise. Um, when I walked around, sometimes I had a lot of energy on around the sixth, seventh day. Um, and I got really bored because, I mean, I was full of energy and I felt very well. So I walked around just a couple times around the block because I felt fine and I felt up to doing that. That's fine. But when you have to do three miles, even if you have to do one mile, you're going to find out that your body's going to get sick. And what happened with me is that I started getting chest pains. And not only that, I started feeling really, really sick on my stomach. Like I was going to vomit all the time. And I could barely drink the water anymore because the water, it just, it just didn't taste right anymore. I was just really sick those two days that I was trying to um, do all that walking. And, um... Uh, at the same time keep fasting when I say walking I'm talking about walking uh, to a point where you perspire and walking up hills and things like that so it was really strenuous walking um, so that was that and I'm back now and ready to begin again um, this is my second day off of my fast I'm trying to get some nutrients in me I know I probably should have made a video so you all could see me on the 12th day but I look like a skeleton or a zombie or something and now I'm getting some plumpness back in my face um, but yeah that's what I wanted to do because I really look terrible when I came off the fast um, but I lost 20 something pounds at any rate um I weighed myself to see what I weighed at the end it's um I was 229 and I'm 231 which is great because you are supposed to gain a little bit after the fast um uh so yeah I'm very happy about that because as I said it didn't look pretty <laughs> and I just felt sunken and you know even though I still have a belly like you, you you don't feel like you have a belly because my belly was sucked in and oh my gosh fasting is an awesome experience though because um you know apart from okay you feel tired some days and um it's hard getting through the first uh, few days because um you have to um you know get past the the hunger pangs and wanting to just jump 
up and say, oh, I'm going to eat something. Okay. Apart from those things and getting sick if you do certain things, you know, coming off of the fast, let me tell you something. Well, while I was on the fast, I think about the between the fifth and seventh day I began to smell everything as if I were pregnant when I were pregnant was pregnant I always smelled like everything which is not good because sometimes you smell garbage and things like that it's really bad but um one of the things that I smelled um as I was walking through this one neighborhood was honeysuckle and I had been through that neighborhood before and I didn't know there was any honeysuckle there. So, you know, that was a very pleasant experience. And, you know, you might think it's going to just be while you're on your fast. But it's not. When I came off of my fast, oh, thank you, Father. I appreciate everything more because even though I was not eating, um, of my own free will for 12 days when I tasted the juice because now I'm drinking green drinks and I eat um, one meal a day um, just because I wanted to chew I couldn't wait to chew again <laughs> and I really you know I like to chew I like to eat come on now that's how we get this way right <laughs> so um, but I have a salad every day um, or um, sometimes I'll have ve vegetarian sushi, which is the only time I'll eat rice because I'm done with rice, pasta, and breads, period. That was one of the reasons I was fasting because I don't want to um, be eating certain things anymore and I was breaking my addiction to them. So, uh, But I'll have sushi, um, vegetarian sushi, or um, salad. Um, or maybe a couple pieces of fruit. Whatever I want to have for that one meal, that's what I'll have. But most of the day, I'll be drinking um, this green drink that I like. Um, it's similar to the one that Adwala makes. So that's what I'm on now. That's what I want to do. That's my new uh, regimen for now. When I stop doing that, I'll probably still have um, the green drinks. And um, also have, you know, just have more salad and and more fruit fresh fruits and vegetables um my diet will be 90 percent raw um there are some things that i have not will not stop eating um and that that are cooked and that's i love to make my own potato salad if anyone has suggestions for a better dressing that's what i'm looking for now because i don't want to use i like my um my potato salad on the sweet side um but it's sweet and sour like i have this thing for the sweet sour thing you know so whenever i make sauces it's always sweet and sour like my favorite salad dressing at home is just simply olive oil honey and mustard and i just love it because it's sweet and sour so um um if anyone has any suggestions for something other than Miracle Whip that I could use because when I make potato salad I use Miracle Whip because it's sweet I don't like mayo because it's plain and uh, I use mustard because it's sour you know sweet and sour that's me sweet and sour so um yeah I'm trying to find something that's similar if not you know if it tastes more like mayo but it's something that vegans or vegetarians um, or raw people who eat raw eat um, that I want to switch over because the Miracle Whip is very unhealthy and I just want to eliminate that out of my life so because I will be making my own potato salad I see nothing wrong with it and I don't I did this before and I do know that um it it didn't cause me to gain any weight because of the fact that I'm eliminating like pasta and um, bread that in and of itself is more than enough for me. Potatoes don't bother me. Um, if they're the only thing in my diet that I'm eating that's, I guess, people consider starchy. I consider it like a veggie. So, And when I make my potato salad, I use um, uh, green pepper, onion, 
tomatoes. Yes, I put tomatoes in my because I love it. Um, green pepper, onion, tomato. Um, I also use red, red, yellow, and orange bell peppers because I love them. Um, and egg. I prefer to use only the egg whites. Depends if I'm making it to share with others and they want the egg yolk. That's fine. But I prefer to use just the egg white. And if I'm not mistaken, that's about all that I put in it. So, oh, and I'll ch finely chop celery because there's I have an issue with celery. But yet I love the way that it tastes if it's mixed in really well into um, a salad. So, yeah, that's all I put in my salad. So it's like almost like another veggie salad or something. But it just has potatoes in it. So if anyone has any suggestions for which dressing I should be using with that, I would appreciate that help. Uh, I'm researching and checking it out for myself as well. And I still eat black bean burgers um, by Morningstar. I love them. So I'll be um, eating those. That's the other cook food. Oh, and eggs. And that's it um, that I can think of right now. But, so that's the way I eat from here on out. It's just, it's about 90% um, uh, raw, uh, fresh foods. That's it. And, um, yeah, fasting gave me an appreciation for those things. Because when you first taste it, and you first taste the juice, it's beautiful. It's, like, heavenly. You know what? It reminds me of when I was a little girl. And I first taste things, it was like, out of this world, you know? You really appreciate everything more. I'm so thankful that I can chew, that I can eat, that I can taste, that I can smell. Like, wow, what a privilege. So, yeah, um, I'm back, and that's what's going on with me. And um, I'll start exercising. If I didn't mention this before, I will begin exercising on Thursday because I'm just trying to let my body get back to normal. I had experienced a lot of uh, tummy sickness and I was experiencing chest pains because of this three to five mile walk that I have to do every day now. And I tried to do it for two days on day um, 11 and 12 of my fast and I was really, really sick. So on day 13, I tried to go for it again. And halfway through the day, um, I just broke my fast because my the chest pains were horrible. So um, that is that. Um, I'm back. And if you all have any questions for me, um, wow, water fasting is awesome. It's awesome, awesome. If you can just do um, 10 days, um, wow. It really cleans your system out. Um, man, I was I had like a really good bowel movement on like the ninth day, and I was amazed that how could I still have something inside me after nine days of nothing but water, you know? So I had I think a total of five really good bowel movements, which is probably a lot of the weight that I lost. Because I hear that you lose a lot of, uh, a lot of the weight you lose is from your bowels um, or your colon finally getting a chance to clean itself out, you know. So, yeah, it's a wonderful thing. And I want to incorporate it more, um, maybe three to five day fast here and there. Um, because it's more effective than doing like a one day fast or a two day fast. I noticed that, yeah, you need to do it a little longer. Um, so that you can really reap some really good benefits. I would say a seven-day fast is best. Seven to eight days. Yeah. Um, if you can hit ten, so much the better, you know. But never exercise on a fast, and especially no strenuous exercise. I learned that the hard way, and I don't want anyone to get sick like I did. So, take care of yourself. Stick to your journey. And um, be blessed. And thank you once again for sitting with me, Slim by Faith.